Hello, welcome to Arcade 85. This is the final, the last installment of our R-Chop series, R-Chop. Because I'm all done with chemotherapy, that's right. So the title of this video, which you've already read, is going to be something to the effect of, a doctor has completed his chemotherapy. And so I wanted to do this last video in this series to thank everyone who's been watching these videos, who's been following my case, and to especially thank everyone who's been praying on my behalf. One of these future videos, I'll actually have a video about prayer itself because it's a fascinating, fascinating topic. I love prayer, and I certainly love the prayers of everyone that's been praying for me. And I'll tell you, especially with that third cycle of RCHOP, I was relying on your prayers. I was saying to Heavenly Father, I know that people are praying for me out here. Please help me to receive those blessings because, boy, I could use them. That was a tough cycle, that third cycle. Your last one's always going to be your tough one because you're, you're just done with it emotionally. My friend Troy and everybody else that has to do RCHOP is generally assigned six cycles. I was fortunate enough to only have three cycles because of my early stage. I was a stage one lymphoma. And so the lymphoma was removed and scans showed that there was nothing else going on. So three cycles of chemotherapy, bald, sick, beat up, and now I'm feeling better. I'm still working to get my stamina back. I understand that that's going to take me a while. I don't quite have it all in me yet, but I was in pretty good shape before this started, thank goodness. And so I'm hoping to rebound with these three cycles that are done, a shorter course with three. I'm hoping that I'll be feeling back to 100% soon. Um, chemotherapy changes you. You're changed. When you're going through chemotherapy, you change a lot. You're weird. Dang, that was hard. My apologies to friends and family and everyone that had to put up with me because I was weird. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you happen to see, but uh, when I would have been doing another cycle, when I was three weeks into it, remember these are at three week intervals, uh, as I was wrapping up that third and final week of the last course, I went ahead and recorded a song. I don't know if you saw that on my YouTube channel. It's called Hunter Biden's Laptop. Anyways. That was, that was cool, by the way, because usually when I write songs and work on songs, I'm showing my kids songs, hey kid, how do you like this? And you kind of bounce it off of them. In this case, the whole thing just came to me. I just wrote that song. And generally when you're recording with multi-track recording, generally you lay down one track and then you go back and listen to it and you're laying down some other tracks and it takes a while and eventually you mix it. Boy, that song, I just, boom, on a certain Tuesday, I just cranked that whole thing out. I recorded that entire song in one day, woke up the next day, going to listen to it, and hey, it still worked. And it was mostly mixed, and so I tightened it up a little bit, and boom, it was on YouTube. And so uh, I was pretty happy with that. And I was still actually getting over chemotherapy when I put that one out, but it was just so cool. It was so nice to be able to get back in the saddle. Back in the saddle again and recording music, and just going back to normal life because it's been a long time since normal. Oh, by the way, did anybody like the election results on Tuesday? Dang, we're still not normal yet. 2020 is just one weird year. Uh, my Lincoln, I drove a Lincoln town car for decades, big silver Lincoln. Uh, earlier this year, it threw a rod, meaning its engine went kaput and it wasn't worth replacing. It would cost too much to replace. It was more, the damage to the engine was more than what the car was worth. And so a car that I had relied on for years, boom, it was gone, 2020. We had this really cool, in the front yard of our house, we had this really cool bottle brush tree that there was shade on some of these other larger trees to the east. And so the bottle brush reaching to kind of get sunlight has this wonderful, wonderful curvature where the thing's kind of jetting out at a diagonal. And it was such a cool tree in our front yard. And the weekend before I was scheduled for chemotherapy, after years of this thing hanging in there diagonally, crack, it broke and it was gone. The bottle brush tree, gone in 2020. My car, gone. Bottle brush tree, gone. My health in 2020, Boom, all of a sudden, cancer. Whoops, what happened to my good health? What a weird year. Meanwhile, 
hey, things are looking up. I'll one day have another car. I'll one day have uh, another tree in the front yard to replace the broken bottle brush. I get my health back. This is one of these wonderful opportunities where things are finally looking my way. If you were in Las Vegas right now and putting odds on what is in my future, I'm gonna bet on his future. Put your chips on, we're all done with this for a long time. It may come back, cancers of this sort, follicular lymphomas love to return in lymph nodes. And so I'll be following up with my doctors regularly for life, Ugh, doctors for life. I'll be following up regularly for life, but odds are we're done with this thing. Boy, that'd be cool. And so this is one of those weird announcements where I get to say, you can now stop praying for me. Thank you for your prayers. Don't need them right now. Or more humbly, everybody needs prayers, but you can now focus on other people who need prayers more than I do. And that's a good position for me to be in, to be able to pass on those prayers. Thank you, everybody, friends, family, patients, everybody that helped me. Thank you, but now I can pass. And you might want to return now to prayer to thank Heavenly Father for the blessings that I received because your prayers were answered. I am feeling good. The other three videos of this series were done the day before I was to return for another chemotherapy infusion. So I would do a video the day before the infusion. This time, I'm doing a video the day before I open my office back up. Tomorrow, I'm going to be seeing patients for the first time in months. And so, this is the big send-off. Wish me well. I'm back in the saddle. I'm back to being a doctor starting tomorrow. And again, thank you very much. Oh, by the way, I recorded uh, in the same setting just now, I recorded kind of this crazy, poetic, um, reading, uh, singing, version of Bob Dylan's Mr. Tambourine Man. During my chemotherapy, that song really hit me. It just did. Some things hit you emotionally when you're doped up on certain medicines. And, uh, and it's a song that I've always liked and I've always been a fan of. But it hit me in such a way that I really wanted to do a recording of it. And so that's going to be, that's its own separate video. Uh, mostly because I don't want to bore people that look at my Mr. Tambourine Man video years from now. Don't want to bore them with my chemotherapy story of 2020. And so they're separate videos, but that will, if you hold on, that one's going to show up as your next option when this video is over. And if you're looking for uh, the other R Chop style videos, those will be linked in the uh, description below. Thank you very much. Love you guys. We'll see you next time.